Good afternoon, this is Brian Overstreet from Purdue Extension, Jasper County, and I'd like to welcome you to Code Red, the contingency planning tool for your family and farm operation. Today we're going to focus on the fi family side and the personal side. Uh, first we'll do with a little review of about Code Red, uh, and then we'll be going into the section on the personal pages that are on the Code Red tool. First, I want to thank our sponsors, Purdue Women in Ag. Uh, they've got a email group at purduewia at purdue.edu. Uh, they can send you uh, notices for other webinars that are coming up or newsletters that we put out uh, throughout the year. And our sponsors of Purdue Women in Ag is Co or Farm Credit Mid America, Series Solutions, Indiana Corn. Uh, Beacon Ag or Beacon Ag Group, yes, Credit Union, uh, Indiana Be Soybean Alliance, and the Indiana Beef Cattle Association. Where are we are now on the Code Red? Uh, we we released it in 2015. We started developing it in 2011. Myself and Kelly Heckman were the co-leaders on that development, along with uh, we worked with several educators across the state and agribusiness women and farm women across the state to develop this program. Since that time we've had over 1400 flash drives distributed across the United States and we continue to make updates as we see fit and have time and um, then if you can download it now without buying the flash drive at the Purdue Women in Ag Code Red page so Google Purdue Women in Ag Code Red and you should be able to find it. If not email me at the email that I will show at the end. Contingency, it is a contingency planning tool for what ifs in life. It's a go-to tool for a member of the family to, if there's an accident, a sickness, or death. And a communication tool. And if you're doing succession planning, or just a, a communication tool within the family to bring up ideas that you may not have thought about, such as having enough the right people on to sign checks. Or where are your wills and where are the the other important documents that you may need to find. So uh, through this we'll we'll work through some of those details today and have you hopefully be able to help you in the future. It's been, built in Excel so it makes it very flexible even if you do the free version Excel uh, you can it can work on that so it makes it flexible you can add columns delete things uh, there's some things we might not have thought of that you think you need you can put in here uh, or there's something we've got extra you don't need you can delete that column but the one thing we did do on this one versus what we found in the past when we we're developing this is that most other things didn't have the the passwords and the logins and those type of things to manage manage our social media or our finances anymore. I mean, most many of the bills we pay are online now, so we didn't have those list of all those things before. So um, we've added that to this new version or compared to what we found when we were developing it, and it's based on living everyday life, not just for death. So when you open up the program, you come to our first page. And it uh, shows that, uh, so as you can see across the bottom, here we have have the tabs uh, color-coded. The introduction are red, the personal information purple, which we'll be focusing on today. And then in the, at the far end of the, per, the tabs are, are the green, which are the farms, our farm operation, or our small business operation. We have three sections, introduction, personal, and farm business. Today we're focusing on the personal section. There's nine different pages in that program. Uh, section and uh, we have personal information, personal social media, business contacts, power of attorneys, important doc personal documents, non-farm personal inventory, personal investments, personal medical information, and final arrangements. So we're going to go into some detail on each one of those today and show show what you can find in, in these parts of those uh, the details. So personal information of uh, is basically information about you and your spouse at the top and then it goes down and more information about your your kids if you want your sibling information your parents information if they're still alive and also a place for for friends that uh, you may have or work and associates or something that if it's in case of emergency that you would like them to get a hold of so the personal on social media uh, just a list of your different passwords that you may have on different things so it's one of those that you may 
add things to this column or take things away and as things go along so there's as we go through there's new ones that come out all the time so you may have something different and what on those that you may need personal business contact we've tried to get fairly detailed on that looking at insurances your utilities your finances and some other things that uh, and basic that you may need um, the name who your contact is their phone number if they've got a cell number that you work with their email address which this is one of those that being Excel you, you probably can widen that column out if you need to because it's not very big there so you could add that your policy numbers your account numbers web address your login and password to get into those accounts so uh, for especially on your utilities and things like that that you're going to be a lot of those you pay online now so you and if something happened to somebody in the family they may not ha have all that information so you can have it right here for them power of attorneys uh, this is one of them that we made major changes on since we started this 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 one's not was not very printer friendly at the beginning but now that we've got it's kind of flipped around made it more printer friendly so that's one advantage of the newer versions that we biggest change we made from the older versions is made it more printer friendly and so that who who the power of attorney is where it's at uh, the attorney uh, date that was done primary executor and those information so everything you should need for the power your health care power of attorney, durable power of attorney health records and a living will and also a lot of this also auto fills into the next page as you can see if it's in yellow we tried to show that it is auto fill uh, to those places and we try to mark, mark those but generally if you start at the beginning of this program and work to the back the things that are auto filled will auto fill not everything does that could like some of the insurance things could be in auto filled further back but they do not uh, but uh, this is, was one of the first pages that we really got started on and it was where's your important documents and this is one that's been used uh, quite a bit when it's been if it's been needed for a, a contingency plan trying to find where where those power of attorney are where those wills are uh, if they've safety deposit box and where the keys are for that if they need it uh, and those type of things as uh, the ones that uh, and that's one of the first pages that we really focused on on this and to get this started is where those documents are in case of emergency uh, non-farm personal inventory is basically a a template for it to use uh, we've got a lot of things that aren't on here but it gives you a template to start with the things that you may have have on on your in your your possession so uh, things that were there at and what all that you have and things like that so but a lot of times ins insurance agents have something similar to this you may work with them on their list and how and uh, and also you could if you do use the flash drive which we recommend keeping this on a flash drive is put some of the pictures that you have for your inventory on there so if there is a, a, a theft or a fire or tornado you have you have pictures of that stuff so you have have something records to go by personal investments we looked at stocks bonds life insurance pension plans and and etc uh, looking at those type of things and also the ways to when you've got those how you get to access to those where they're at and who your who your uh, your stockbroker is and that type of stuff that information there so if you do need to get to it you can personal medical information is one that uh, lists your doctors what pharmacy normally do power of attorney which auto fills from from before um, if you have a health savings accounts or flexible account that information what medications you may be on so in case somebody uh, needs that information fast they can get to it and, and also if there's any allergies that you have and then one thing we've added in the from the first ones is that there's a physician order scope of treatment and this is an Indiana state document uh, if you're not in Indiana this probably may not be applicable but but here in Indiana and you can fill this out and have a copy of it there in case you do need it it's not a living will but it's something similar to that but it's a, a state record that you can have of treatment and then final arrangements is one of that we've added to it uh, this one is one that probably these columns aren't going to be big enough for some of that information so you may need to make those a little bigger as you go through there but it gives you a list of which who, which church you would like to have if you have a list of who you'd like as pallbearers what songs or special readings you would like to have done 
and those type of things and which where you would in your charitable donations and and if you have a cemetery plot and where they're at and how to contact them and then there's also a state document that's similar to this that we've added to it too that has a lot of the same information on it uh, but it's a it's a legal document that you can use um, for for this too and may work with your lawyer on the, this information and then uh, on past and our next video we'll be talking about the farm business sections and we've got uh, seven different uh, uh, tabs on that that are similar to the ones we've done here uh, a little more detail on some of the farm inventory and farm finances and, and the structure but it's uh, some of them are similar to what we've talked about on this one but uh, check our next video on that uh, in the series to find those out if you're interested we do have the flash drives for four dollars uh, they're four gig for flash drives which you can store some of the family pictures on uh, which and or some of your documents on that type of thing and so they're right there if you need them uh, we also keep our our uh, Christmas card list and graduation invite list and things like that on that same so if we ever need those they're right we they're come in handy but you can also for two dollars get your uh, lanyard that you can store or hang hang with it and it makes a lot more visible if you're looking for it you can find it a lot easier or you can just go download uh, load it for free at this same website so the the uh, order form for these are are on the the code red website or you can download it free from there but uh, you'll order them with uh, through the uh, order form that's on the the um, on the website and uh, in mail to uh, Kosciuszko counties with a holder of those flash drives so I want to thank you for joining us today and learning more about the, our contingency planning family or contingency plan tool that you can use for your family or farming operation. So I want to thank you and if you have any more questions please contact me at boverstreet at purdue.edu. Thank you and have a great day.